The sister of Lori Vallow's third husband and aunt of Tylee Ryan is now pushing for Phoenix police to reopen the investigation into Joseph Ryan's death. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with her about it. She joins us now with what she had to say in opening this again, Shira. Right, and before we get into that, Mark, a hearing involving the case happened a couple of hours ago. It was regarding the DNA testing in this case. The judge decided to give both sides more time to work out their issues. But of course, this all centers around missing Rexburg kids, JJ and Tylee. Their remains were later found on the property of their mother, Lori Vallow's current husband, Chad Daybell. Now the sister of Lori's third husband is calling for Phoenix police to investigate his death after getting new photos. There are some unanswered questions in these pictures. It was three years ago this month when police found Lori Vallow's third husband and Tylee Ryan's father, Joseph Ryan, in his apartment. Investigators ruled his death a heart attack. Now his sister, Annie Cushing, is pushing for Phoenix police to reopen the investigation into his death. I just want them to investigate his death, to do a real investigation. His death has not been investigated. They did a review of the case, but no one ever reached out to me. And I've been very vocal about concerns about the photo albums. Which is why she started this change.org petition. I really just want to send a message to Phoenix that I don't stand alone in this. Annie received these photographs from a KSL reporter in Salt Lake. Police took these photos the day they found Joseph Ryan in his apartment. She says those photos sparked a lot of questions for her. One being that it appeared her brother was getting ready for a trip with Tylee because she noticed several items that were feminine looking or intended for a girl. These were just some of the 130 photos she received. Another red flag for her? Annie says Lori Vallow was in possession of a box of photo albums from Joseph's childhood. She says Lori showed her those photos after Joseph Ryan's death. And that's when she learned. According to Lori, law enforcement let them go in and take whatever they wanted. But now I just question, did, would, why would police allow Lori to just walk out with files from her ex-husband? That doesn't... That just doesn't pass the sniff test. Annie told KTVB she's not saying definitively that her brother was murdered and he could have died from a heart attack, but... I am saying that I feel like too much weight was given to this autopsy that was based on an external examination alone. As for what she's seeing unfold in the hearings for both Lori Vallow and her current husband, Chad Daybell... It does give the impression of just kind of being a clown car. You know, I see a lot of distractions, a lot of theater. I, I know that there are a lot of moving parts. I would love to see murder charges or accessory to murder, or, you know, something I, I know everyone does. You know, we're all just kind of waiting on pins and needles. Now, I reached out to the Phoenix Police Department about it, about her petition, and they say there haven't been any changes to their findings. Meantime, both Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell remain in jail, charged in connection with the disappearance of JJ and Tylee, but they have not been charged with killing the children. Mark? Hard to believe we've been covering this case since the fall of 2019. Right, with when they were still believed to be missing. Exactly, and yeah. still no end in sight. Mm -hmm. All right, Shira, thanks.